Good morning, church, and welcome to part 17 of our mini devotional series titled You Are Exploring Our Identity in Christ Jesus through Ephesians chapter 1 um, and 2. And we're, we're moving into chapter 2 this morning, which means that we're kind of over halfway uh, through our devotional series. And we've got two verses for you this morning, chapter 2, verse 1 and verse 5. And, and Paul writes the following. He says, as for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sin. And then down in verse 5, but because of God's great love for you, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive in Christ Jesus, even though you were dead in transgressions and sins. And there's our word uh, for us this morning. You are given mercy. You know, I remember when we were growing up, we, we used to play this crazy game at, at, at boarding school. You would uh, lock hands with somebody like this, and uh, then on the count of three, you'd begin to wrestle. And the idea was to twist the per person's hands round and kind of bend their knuckles backwards at a weird sort of angle so that it cracks and pops. And eventually, if you were stronger, they would end up on their knees, maybe a few tears streaming down their face, and they would eventually cry out, Mercy. And when they cry out mercy, you, you then relented and you released them and you let them go free. And when thinking about the word mercy in, in Scripture, I, my mind kind of went to all the different people who have cried out to God for mercy. David repeatedly in the Psalms, the prophets repeatedly on behalf of Israel and you and me, each in our own way when we came to the realization that we have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Each in our own way, we turned our faces towards heaven and we cried out to God, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. And here's the really amazing and astounding thing. You know, when you cried out to God, who is rich in mercy, he heard your cry and he extended mercy towards you and saved you. And in this sense, mercy and grace that we've spoken about before are two sides of the same coin. When we cried out to God, have mercy on us, a sinner. God had mercy on us. He, he forgave us of all of our sins and he didn't treat us as our sins deserved. And actually the just punishment for our sin was laid upon Jesus. But in that same act then, he displayed mercy towards us. He lavished us with uh, innumerable, undeserved blessings, even though we were sinners. When we cried out to God, have mercy on us, he heard us. You are given mercy. Let me pray for you as you go out uh, into today. And Father, I pray that you would fill us afresh with your Holy Spirit. And would you help us to be merciful to others in the same way that you have been merciful to us. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen. May you find that this truth is grips you and lifts you out of the mud and mire and sets your feet upon a firm foundation. Thanks so much for connecting this morning and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. God bless.